Hi. So today we'll be looking at one of the main questions um, in 3D Studio Max is basically what scale to use. When you're working on a new project, do you have to select millimeters, centimeters, meters? What is the best scale to use in bigger projects and smaller projects? So let's just jump into it. So whenever you start working on a project, you have to see how big the project is. Is it like a really small product design render? Or are you rendering a house? Or are you rendering a massive commercial building? That will define what scale to use in that project. So first of all, when you open Max, uh, you can you have to set your scale before you start working on the project. If you change the scale during working on a project, the scale won't translate properly. So I always would recommend whenever you start working on a project, open a brand new file, go to customize, go to unit setup. And this is where you set up your units. So there are two different things to see here. First is the display unit scale. And the second is the system unit setup. So this is the main scale that you need to tweak when working on a project. This display unit scale doesn't affect anything in the scene itself. It will only change what you see as values when you're creating an object or when you're transforming or scaling the options. I'll show you. So right now, my system unit scale is set to meters but I can change that to millimeters at any point. If, cause some people feel comfortable modeling in millimeters. So now if you see, I've created this box and it's being displayed as in millimeters. If I do move tool, you'll see all the values are in millimeters. So at any point, I want to change this setting. I can, I can just switch to centimeters. This is not changing the scale of anything. It's just the display value of what you're seeing down there. So I've just opened this new file, which was previously created in inches. So I changed my system units to meters. And now when I open this file, I will get this dialog box, which will say the file unit scale is in inches. So the original file was created in inches, but the system units by default right now is meters. And it gives you two options, either rescale the incoming file to meters, or it will change the system unit files to inches. So this is the best way to convert any file to other units if you really have to. So now if I change it to this option, rescale file objects to system unit scale and press OK. So the file is open. So now if I go into customize unit setup, again, see the display unit doesn't matter. I'll go in system unit and you'll see the file unit scale is in meters now. So the second question is what scale to use and when to use it. So a really hard and fast rule to determine this is basically for millimeters, the accuracy of millimeters is anywhere from thousand millimeters to one of a thousand millimeter and anything above and below that you will have either performance issues, viewport issues, uh, you will feel some jitter when you're moving objects and trying to place them in your scene. Same goes with the centimeters. It will work really well up to thousand centimeters or one of a thousand centimeter. Anything above and below will cause issues. Same with meters from thousand meters to one of a thousand meter, which is basically gives you a range of 1000 meters down to one millimeter. So anything above or below that you will have issues. So in a scene like this, where I'm rendering small products, I know I will have to work really up close and personal with, with the object itself. So I will be using um, chamfers and slice modifiers and moving the objects in like either 
point one of a millimeter, point two of a millimeter, because accuracy is everything in a scene like this. So in this case, I should be working with millimeters. Okay, so to demonstrate it to you how millimeters and meters and centimeters work, I've got one file open up here. One is in millimeters and the other is in meters. It's the same project, but I'll show you what issues or problems you face if, if you're working on a smaller scale, but on a bigger project. So on the left, I've got the file open in millimeters and on the right is the uh, meters. So if I change my view to perspective and if I start moving around, you'll see you'll get this issue in viewport where objects which are really close to each other, they don't know how to display that properly because the scale is so small, it doesn't translate well into the viewport. And you will, whenever you're seeing um, issue like this, it means that the file unit scale isn't set up properly. And to show you in comparison, on the right, there's meters. And if I go in perspective, you'll see like this object looks really nice and clean. I can zoom out really far away. Everything is clean. I can zoom in really up close. Okay, so the second issue is when you're working on a smaller scale on a bigger project is when you're trying to place objects uh, in your scene. So you might have come across this issue when you're working on a project is you're trying to place this box onto the floor and you'll see that it sometimes jitters from one position to the other. This is all because that the scale, um, it, it's really hard for Max to translate those bigger values because the unit file size of this file is set in millimeters. So it you will always get these jitters when you're working um, on a file you won't feel this issue when you're working in orthographic or in front left right viewports like you can see those values down there when I'm moving them they are really smooth and that's how it should be in perspective as well but if I go in perspective and if I try and move that see it sometimes it just jitters out of its position and it won't hold its axis there as compared to a file in meters where if I create a box in and I'm in perspective view and you can see it's behaving perfectly as it would in orthographic view and I'm not getting any jitters and I can place that object wherever I want. So I will also show you one small trick to fix this issue of viewport not displaying properly because it might be really hard. You've worked too much on a project and it's really hard to change the scale of the file at this point. So a really quick fix. So if you click this perspective, um, where certain perspective, top view or camera view, go down viewport clipping. And by default, the clipping will be, there's a small yellow line there and up there where these two arrows appear. So if I move this arrow just above that line, you will see the viewport will fix itself. Now it will behave exactly like it would in a other file, which was created in meters. I don't know the reason for this, why this small movement fixes this viewport issue but it's always been like this since early days in 3 studio max personally i would recommend is that you work in centimeters because that is sort of uh, like a middle ground so you will get the accuracy down to really close like um half a mil to a mil chamfers and like bigger uh projects up to like um uh thousand centimeters so you will be able to work on bigger projects as well as small projects by just keeping that constant for all the files but if you're working on really big projects in that case i would change that to meters um, the other advantage of using centimeter by default in 3studio max is most of the plugins that come 
um, that comes in 3 studio max by default they support uh, centimeters like a uh, floor generator forest pack rail clones tie flow most of these plugins will work really well if you've got centimeters as your file uh, system units so i hope that clarifies the whole discussion regarding what scale to use in a file um, and if you have any further questions regarding um, what other skills uh, you should be using or shouldn't be using please let me know down in the comments and i will see you guys in the next one